What's up, friend? So, Nova, the new class in Black Desert has been out for some time now, and it's been about a week since we got her Awakening and Succession. I wanted to give her a proper shot, so I tried both specs in PvE and PvP, and this is my first impression. I'm gonna start with Succession. I think the first thing that people said was that Nova was just a copy-paste of Guardian, but it honestly feels and plays a lot different. This is one of the first classes to probably be designed post-Succession, and you can clearly see it in how her pre-awakening kit is designed. Succession has very few changes, if any, to the pre-awakening playstyle. The skills aren't much different, they're mostly more beefy, and the addition of the big gargoyle looking ass isn't also as impactful as I personally thought. It's actually incredibly annoying having to pop it every single time you die, since there's no drawbacks for not having it as far as I can tell, and for my boomer eyes it's also incredibly subtle to see if you have it out or not without using skills, it's just a tiny little blue ball hovering around you. But beside that, I actually really like the design of Succession, it's exactly what you think it is. It's a main raid class with long skill animations, big AoEs, and even bigger t- She's pretty straightforward, doesn't seem particularly hard to play and the gameplay feels rewarding and impactful. A lot of people are complaining about her damage being too slow, or the fact that she's too vulnerable to grabs, and while that might be the case, I think she has a pretty solid kit and style going for her. I think if you enjoy big fights or slow gameplay, Succession Nova is definitely for you. There's two things that I really dislike design-wise for her. One is the unbreakable ice wall, which is going to make pushing castle chokes even less fun than it currently is. And the second one is that the increasing number of protected CCs being thrown in the game. On top of having a couple of super armor CCs, she also has stiffen and damage on her pawns, which is a bit too strong for what I can tell. It was already nerfed by 30 something percent I think, and in RBF I still managed to kill people while AFK in block from time to time, and I don't think that should be a thing at all. That's fine. <laughs> no, why did I take the block off? Hey, trolling, trolling? <laughs> team! Team! Help! Team! <laughs> I was still alive! Why did he just kill someone? What's happening? Ibuff? What's going on? Why are they not killing me? <laughs> it's Q. We keep Q pressing and then we press E. Whoa, 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 where's, where's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is it? I did nothing. How did he die? I was a bit disappointed with her PvE and I have to admit, I was looking for a class to have some relaxing grind since my hands hurt after 2 hours of uh, non-stop spinning with Sorik. But even though I know my grind speed was uh, definitely not what it could be, since I'm sure I wasn't doing the most optimal skill rotation, or maybe I didn't have the most optimal add-ons, but I still felt way too slow. She seems great in low level spots because of her insane AoEs. But when it comes to endgame, I hope to see more damage. My overall thoughts about Succession is that she definitely fits a specific playstyle pretty well. It doesn't seem incredibly broken or bad so far. I think she will struggle hard in 1v1 matchups against grab classes, since she has one eye from every 10 seconds and her mobility is kinda tragic otherwise. Overall, pretty solid and I wouldn't be surprised at all if she gets a damage buff soon. Now. About Awakening. Oh boy! Awakening is quite something. I think it's the first class to be both broken and shit at the same time. I'm gonna actually start from the PvE, because I think it's the easiest topic to cover and uh, then move to the rest. Her PvE is really good. In uh, low level spots, she's great because of her insane mobility and good AoEs, and her damage is really good in end game spots as well. Honestly, zero complaints about PvE, if not for the fact that it's a bit mechanically intensive. There's a lot of spamming and cancels required, which is going to throw some people off. But beside that, she's great all around in PvE and there's nothing else to add really. Now, PvP. They somehow manage to top themselves with the most obnoxious mechanic in the game. I'm gonna address right away what I think is the biggest problem of Awakening Nova, and if you played against one, you probably know what I'm talking about. Thank you. 
Just tell uh, them. If it's one, it would be a shame if uh, you jump in one of these black holes, team. <laughs> We did it! I <laughs> actually did it! Fuck your class team! The fucking vacuum. The two little shit balls that she can throw every 10 seconds for the duration of six. Whoever came out with that shit has never played Black Desert in his life. Vacuum already kinda break the game as it is, and they're incredibly unfun and annoying, but this is just ridiculous. Especially as a sword player, it's incredibly frustrating to see our shitty 100% black hole where people can just walk right out of it while they release a class that can spam 2 every 10 seconds they have a gravitational pull of a fucking furry smart fanfic writer. Like, seriously, what were they thinking? I, I don't even know if there's a, a reasonable way of nerfing this ability. I wouldn't mind them removing it completely, honestly. It's so strong that if you drop just 2 balls in the middle of a fight, you can kinda just go AFK. Cause that's it, you pull your weight, you've done your part. <laughs> Besides this incredibly broken ability, the rest of the kit is um, underwhelming, I would say. First of all, I think the massive disparity in playstyle between pre-awakening and awakening makes the class design very awkward. Awakening is really fast-paced with a lot of cancels and mobility, while pre-awakening is very stationary and slow. And the two don't flow very well at all together, in my opinion at least. The end guard mechanic is cool and gives the class a lot of potential, but the fact that almost every single ability is kinda locked in a straight line makes this uh, potential uh, fluid playstyle a bit stiff. The damage itself isn't too bad, I think, but maybe it could be higher. I think Awakening is supposed to be an assassin with a high risk, but now there's not much high reward. So you either give more protection or iframes to the kit or you pump up the damage because I think it's just not working well right now. Overall, I think uh, Awakening is missing something. While Succession has a clear identity and playstyle, Awakening is a bit all over the place. It does a lot of things, but doesn't really do anything well. I think this uh, can potentially be all fixed with Rabams and core skills, so I guess we'll have to wait for those. And on top of it, it seems to be one of the buggiest releases so far. People have reported quite a lot of bugs on both Awakening and Succession. So, um, final thoughts about Nova so far? Fan class, the vacuum needs to go, and she needs some tweaks here and there. But I'll keep her tagged and, and see how she develops with future updates. What do you think about Nova? Do you guys agree with my points? Let me know in the comments below or on my next stream. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. And thanks for watching until the end, I appreciate you. But until then, kisses.